And then you got a gang activity? No, sir. What are you looking at? There's a lot. You ain't in the vehicle? Any kind of narcotics, weapons, anything like that? No, sir. Matter of fact, take a look. I would not consent to search my vehicle. You stop me based on a traffic violation, you, you can give me a ticket. Move him over to the sidewalk and continue your conversation. Let me do my thing. That was just stopping from the beginning where you want to search the vehicle. So you stopped on the pretense of a traffic violation. Well, it's called probable cause. Well, we can't it's called uh, racial profiling, which is called. You really must know what it is. No, sir. It's called racial profiling. When you stop a car because you seem to think it's a physical, yeah. a black man driving it. It's called fail to signal. How do you it's know? Called. You wasn't you wasn't present. Well, he comes from the opposite direction of mine. Well, don't, don't talk to me then. This is the part where the Dublin Police Department takes it upon themselves to make a, an illegal search, impromptu search, claiming that the dog has alerted to the presence of drugs. Now, if you've seen the video and watched the drug, the dog did not alert. The dog walked around the truck several times, and this is their tactic of illegally searching vehicles and violating the Fourth Amendment. And this is not something that they... That they that is, it actually is against the law. It violates the Fourth Amendment of the Constitution. And this is why Salute for Justice found Kevin Saffold. This is why I've continued to film the Dublin Police Department for their uh, <clears throat> unscrupulous, unprofessional tactics. And here's a corporal on the scene. I believe his name is uh, Officer Corporal Connor, and he is supervising this illegal search. Let it be known that he is constantly approaching me. I'm, I'm stepping backwards because they, they are quick to use as an excuse that we are being aggressive. Anytime a black man has a camera in his hand, they fear that. Now he's a, he's he's uh, grabbing his, his firearm now. It's another a tactic of intimidation. While they conduct this illegal search under his supervision. 
Let it be known that this will uh, result in a formal complaint. As you can tell by the video, the dog did not alert to the presence of drugs. And I have every right to film these people in the First Amendment while they make this impromptu and illegal search. Now bear in mind, this same vehicle has been searched at least four or five times this year without a call or without so prob probable cause or reason to believe that a crime has been committed. The only crime that they claim that has been committed is that they say I failed to use a signal light. How is that demand to this search? Of course I do. That's one more of your, your uh, police tactics that you're trying to use to intimidate me? Yes, I do have one. Okay. Well, that's one more thing that uh, that you claim that you think that you can use to intimidate me, but you can't. Of course I have it. I know what kind of tactics you all use. I'm more than glad to present it for you. Also, bear in mind, viewer, if you are a convicted felon, anybody who has been incarcerated for more than a year has presented to the police officer when they ask a felon registration card, just for your information. And I do. Okay. Is there anything else I can provide for you? Okay. So that tactic won't work, uh, view. I'd, I'd like you to pay closer attention to the type of tactics they use to try to intimidate the average black person on the street. This is a clear case of racial profile, and this is not stuff that I make up. <clears throat> so they roam for the belief they can go around just stopping vehicles and, and using this dog as a proper cause to search vehicles. But it is my claim that we will put a stop to them. We will air out the dirty tactics. We will, we will make it known on the national level what you can expect from the Police Department. Very unprofessional, very unscrupulous, and can't be trusted. This is why people have a lack of respect for the, for the police department as, as a whole. They somehow believe that the citizens they have no rights to privacy and protection in their own vehicles and their own homes. Now, I bet you if we were able to count the times, we were able to go into the records and, and ask the dispatcher. I, I imagine there are very few incidents that happened that of this same nature over in Bocage and, and Brentwood and Chapelwood and such as neighborhoods where the police reside. There are very few incidents that you'll find that they're doing this type of tactic. Are they stopping our white counterparts in that neighborhood and searching their vehicles and putting dogs in their cars? I don't think so. If this is what our taxpayers are paying for, rather than being served and protected, we're being harassed. And it seems they give them no greater joy than the rummage through a black man's truck. Now, why is race a factor in this matter? I mean, if you take the average person from this part of town, we're located right now on the corner of West Powell and Wheatley. And even if you were colorblind, you would know that this is actually a neighborhood that is that is residing in a predominantly black neighborhood. So this is where they devote most of their resources and manpower in the black neighborhood. So it's only fair to say that we are being targeted and singled out for this type of harassment. 
But this is what we pay for, ladies and gentlemen. We pay our light bills, we pay our taxes. This is what we pay for, a waste of the city's resources. Why is there a waste? Because there has been no crime committed. There has been no crime reported. There has been no crime that suspiciously taking place. But the crime here is a waste of taxpayers' money. That's what I consider to be a crime, a waste of taxpayers' money. But just one more answer that I'd like to document for the record. If this is a form of harassment, I don't know what it is. I mean, well, how is it that, that, that I have, as an individual, Kevin Southwell, have been stopped at least 10 to 15 times in the year 2014? So I guess it's only right to end this year out with one more example of their clear harassment and abuse of authority. They seem to believe they have the authority and the duty to go around harassing the average citizen especially in neighborhoods that are presided, resided within predominantly by black African-American people. It's becoming to a point now the streets are not safe, but not, not because of criminals, and common thieves and robbers and drug dealers, but because of the police. The police have, have all but made the streets unsafe for a black man. We have literally become an endangered species in our own hometown. It is not safe to ride, walk, or stand as a black man in Houston County. But this is the type of behavior that is being condoned by our Mayor Mike Smith, our Chief of Police, Greg Benton, and it's not as if they don't know this. These are the same people who are responsible for training, paying, and hiring these same officers to conduct these fruitless searches. Now, I'm sure they're trying to find some uh, minute violation to assess to me. Why? Because I have no problem filming and giving my commentary and my opinion as to their tactics and their behavior. <clears throat> Why do I do that? I do this for a matter of awareness and transparency, something that they really, really try to avoid. Now, you all have seen the other witness firsthand this account of police harassment and intimidation. And the tactic of using the dog, the canine, trained canine dog, who allegedly alert to the presence of drugs, but yet there is no drugs. So these false accounts, these false uh, constructions of probable cause are used frequently here in by the Dublin Police Department. So don't be surprised when it happens to you. But my suggestion to you is the first thing you should do before you do anything else besides put your car in park and put on your hazard lights is take out your smartphone and begin to film these people. By all means, make it known to the public, the taxpayer, who has become the biggest threat and the biggest danger to our community. When you look at the news now, who is being killed and who who's doing the killing? 
Well, I say to my white counterparts, my white viewers, when they run out of black people to kill, guess what? It'll be your time next. The poor black, the poor black man, the poor white man is in the same plight. The sooner you all begin to realize that, the better we all are. But well, they look at the white man on welfare and unemployment line the same as they do myself. I wasn't aware of it, but if you say so, you have the, uh, the information. You are. You're welcome to ask Huey Town if they're welcome to come get me if they were too. Okay. You do have a probation violation where I have Huey Town Alabama. So okay. Look into that. It's countywide extradition. Okay. Well, I've been arrested uh, four or five times this year. Alabama unless you want to be incarcerated, okay? Okay. Well, I've been there before. That's news to know. I've been arrested and been bonded out several times this year, so if they had any intention of coming to retrieve me, if I was the one they were looking for, I'm sure by now I would have been in their custody. Okay. So you know that. You spoke with them and you know that, right? Okay. Okay. So exactly how do you verify that I'm the same person they're looking for? Because of your driver's license, your social security number, your date of birth, your full name. Okay. But that has nothing to do with the reason you all stopped me, I'm sure. That was not secondary. You had to know. I found out after the stop. Okay. I'm going to stop one. Get your license back. Okay. You didn't have proof of insurance. I'm issuing a citation for failure to provide insurance, for legal proof of insurance. Okay. I also wrote you, wrote you a citation for failure to signal, and I wrote you a citation for an open container that was found inside your vehicle, okay? Okay. By taking these tickets, you're not accept you're not admitting that you're guilty. You're just saying that you will either show up in court on February 24, 2015, at 9 o'clock a.m., or you'll call the number number listed on the bottom of this ticket to try to take care of it for them. Do you have any questions? I don't have any questions. Y'all yeah, continue to do the same work y'all been doing. I don't need that trash for long as I'm That's not mine. That's trash. It's your trash. Take it as evidence. You got it, then. Take it as evidence. That's the open container that you claim I had. Take it as evidence. Yeah, you do the same.